what is going on guys it is a fine fine super fine day here in southwest pa and in today's episode uh, i want to talk about youtube and i want to kind of talk about things that i've learned about youtube and kind of how it works and before we get into it, i want to say a quick couple quick things first and foremost this video is going to be broken down into two parts uh the stuff that i need to say and then we're going to go back into the lab and i want to show you specific settings and things to tighten up your channel if you are uh if you're starting out because i didn't know about these until like relatively relatively recently second off uh this video is not just for moto vloggers this video is for people who are starting a youtube channel and they wanted to find out a little bit about more a little bit about youtube more and how it all works so if you're not a moto vlogger and you found this channel welcome to the channel if you're wondering what the hell is going on there is a group of people who buy motorcycles and record themselves on gopros for other people who like the same stuff and so if this is uh kind of interesting to you check out the rest of the channel I, i'm doing some trips i um, plan on going to columbus ohio for the eclipse i'm not sure when this video is going to come out but we got tours we got safety we got everything so check it out leave a like comment and subscribe if you would like to the third thing i want to say real fast is this is probably going to be a lengthy video and that's okay because this is an educational topic so i don't really mind if this is getting a little too long fourth and final thing i want to say is don't hold anything i say like accountable or, or to a t i should say because at the end of the day this is artwork you are doing art and the unfortunate thing is while yes you can do whatever you want to do for your channel because it's your channel there are things that will kind of hurt you as far as the algorithm goes so that's kind of what i want to that's kind of what i want to bring up but let's get into the video and the first thing that i want to talk about is your niche and really really narrowing down what that niche is you know for me for example i ride motorcycles okay that's great but a lot of other people ride motorcycles and it makes it very difficult for the algorithm to work with you really work for them because at the end of the day whether you like it or not youtube is a business and their whole business is to take videos and put them in front of audiences that will actually watch them with the hopes that they will stick around long enough for a commercial to be played for them to get a kickback that's just kind of how it is that's how that's the whole idea of youtube so whenever you narrow down your niche you're really trying to focus on who you are trying to contact again i do motorcycle content okay big whoop there's a lot of people that do motorcycle content let's narrow that niche down a little bit okay let's do motorcycle content but i'm going to do safety videos right i'm going to do safety videos for motorcycles so now we took motorcycles and we condensed it down further into safety let's condense it even more let's do uh motorcycle safety specifically for new riders so now you got motorcycles motorcycle safety specifically towards new riders and what that's doing is that's telling the algorithm hey this is the group of individuals that are going to watch this channel so they put it out in front of them so they watch the video so they get the uh the longevity or the uh the retention rate right so they can get paid from that and you can even narrow it down even more let's say i ride a ninja 650 okay so motorcycle motorcycle safety directed towards new riders maybe this uh get into people who are riding a ninja 650 so you see what we did we really took a very broad idea 
and we narrowed it down because again the whole idea is to work with the algorithm because the algorithm will help you or screw you because it's going to put your content out there but if nobody's watching it they're not going to push it now that can happen whenever you're doing motorcycle content or gaming content but your you're you're shooting way too wide of a range so the youtube algorithm doesn't really know exactly where to put your video and then whenever it does go out there people aren't really watching it because it's not what they want and then the algorithm saying well okay this video sucks i'm not promoting it so really really start to to narrow down your your niche and really cater that to that specific area the second thing i want to talk about is kind of it's, it's not that it's controversial it's still new and i'm still learning about it but from what everything that i'm researching and seeing and even seeing on people's channels you have to decide if you're going to make regular youtube length long videos or shorts because it seems like whenever you are trying to do both it's 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 clouding up the algorithm and it screws you over as far as views go now i said that youtube is art and it is art and for me i don't like shorts i have too much i want to say i like riding around i like watching my own videos later on with the hopes that whenever i'm older if something happens and i can't ride i'll still be able to watch my videos if that makes any kind of sense so that's the kind of stuff that i like i don't really like youtube shorts now i don't know if that is like 115 percent correct but everything that i'm reading on is pointing into that direction and even whenever you look at bigger youtube channels if you go on like their youtube page or whatever and you scroll all the way down to the bottom a lot of times these channels have another channel exactly the same but shorts so they have one channel directly for videos and the other channel directly for shorts so they're not really mixing them so kind of consider what kind of art or whatever you're trying to do i don't know i have a pet peeve against youtube shorts and reels and stuff like that i don't like how short people's attention spans are anymore it i just don't like it I, I think longer videos are better but if you are just after views then shorts is probably the way to go if i'm being honest i mean i did a i did a little experiment since the whole diddy thing is coming out i put up a short of the what did diddy do the the whole whenever the devil's trying to have his sweet 16 and i put that video up as a youtube short and youtube uh video and the youtube video got like 600 views or something like that while the youtube short got 10,000 views so there's a substantial difference you just have to figure out what you want to do as far as your channel goes the third thing i kind of want to brush up on is retention now we talked about retention and if you don't know what that is that is basically how long can i keep you on that's an interesting bike it's very quiet how long can i keep you on my video right because the longer you watch my video the higher the probability is of you running into a commercial and then youtube gets paid remember this is a business this is all this is is a business it's all about money so there are tips and tricks to to really keep up your retention and i'll be honest there's things that i i really don't do because i said that this is art and i don't like it you know and nothing against yammy noob and if you're in the motorcycles and you know who yammy noob is i don't follow yammy noob anymore and it's nothing necessarily against them it's just whenever i would i'll tell you why i'm described i was watching a video one time and it wasn't even one minute in and i got hit with 30 or 40 gifts and short videos and trying to be funny uh, gifts or whatever and it was really taking away from what the product was i was trying to trying to watch 
and while that does work that's a that's a trick right because you know what you're doing is you're riding a motorcycle blah 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 here's a, a funny gif or whatever and then that recycles the brain right so you're not focused on this one thing now you have a gif or funny or whatever you want to call it it resets the intention span so when you get back to the video you stick around blah 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 uh, again that's not a bad thing and you know you do whatever you want to do i don't have a problem with it i i do like it sometimes but it's whenever it's like way too much it's like way 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 too much that i just um i just can't get down with it if i'm being honest i think it takes away from the product because here's the other thing about youtube real quick whenever you're designing your channel and making your channel you should really think of yourself as a youtube consumer before a youtube producer because you are a youtube consumer you're actively watching this video uh whether or not you're one of my subscribers or you just happen to find this video because you are interested in youtube in general uh I was going on a tangent and I got distracted because that truck there. Uh, da, 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 what was I talking about? Who was talking about? I get so distracted. Um, hmm. Man, that sucks. Oh, yeah, we were talking about being a, we were talking about being a YouTube uh, consumer. So think of yourself as a U YouTube consumer, and that kind of plays in to. The, the the next thing as which goes into um you know designing your thumbnails and the title and all that stuff with your channel and that's uh let's talk about title first i just mentioned about thinking of yourself as a i wish i could get that off as a youtube consumer before a youtube producer and what i mean by that is Whatever you're looking up, whenever uh, you're first getting into motorcycles or you want to learn about a video game or change a car tire or whatever, think about how you type that in the search engine. You know, whenever I started riding motorcycles, before I started riding motorcycles, I would type in how to ride a motorcycle, what is trail braking, what is counter steering. And the commonality between all that stuff, for me anyways, is questions so i like to propose my titles as a question themselves because it seems like it gets a little bit more traction another thing that plays into that is the thumbnail and the description the thing about youtube from all the research that i've been doing is excuse me that youtube really likes similarities it likes when things are the same because it makes it excuse me easier for the algorithm to filter things out and put it where it needs to be so if you have a video about uh motorcycle safety positioning for safety you can put in the title maybe this picture right this is my escape zone you can put in the picture of this put some kind of wording in it how to stay safe on a motorcycle have the description say how to be safe on a motorcycle pov beginner rider and then in your description you go ahead and you type that again hey this video is about how to really position yourself for safety on a motorcycle as a motorcycle rider whatever just so there's like a lot of common uh common that's a pretty house commonality between the thumbnail the title and the description again you're helping the algorithm help you right so the whole objective is to to really help the algorithm get your content into the eyes of the people who actually want to watch this because it doesn't matter and it probably does matter but it doesn't necessarily matter if 50 million people see my thumbnail if they're not interested in motorcycles they're not gonna care right so just these little things that you can do you can put yourself in a way better position for the youtube algorithm to help you out 
Now I'm going to pull off somewhere over here so I can fix my, my stupid phone thing because I can't see my notes. I can't see my notes. The, uh, the next thing I want to talk about real quick is the, uh, the importance of staying in your niche. Now that is important for a bunch of different reasons. Obviously one, the algorithm, but two, it's important for your viewers to, to know what's going on. As an example, if you are doing a gaming channel and you're playing walkthroughs of Silent Hill or Kingdom Hearts or whatever it is, and you know you build a you build a following you build this great community that enjoys it and you enjoy it but then all of a sudden you switch it off to playing board games while yes it's still games you're i'm in fourth i can't see because of the thing it's uh while you're still talking about gaming you're now like out of your niche kind of situation and I can confuse some people. They're like, whoa, hold on. Like, you were playing Silent Hill. Now you're playing Monopoly. Arguably great games. I'm not saying they're not. Both of them aren't great games. But it, it, throws, it throws it off. Now, you will have people that will follow you no matter what. You will have... Uh, you know, I don't want to call them fans because that sounds just weird. But you will have people that generally really, really like your channel and really, really like what you do and really, really appreciate the time and energy and effort that you actually do put in on your videos. I want to, um, we're going to make a, uh, a right piece here. But... You will have people, obviously, that will still follow you no matter what. And that's great. That's where the loyalty really, really shows. But there will also be a lot of people that, like, will say, ah, uh, screw this. I don't, I don't really care anymore. So kind of be a little bit aware. And it's okay to go outside your niche every once in a while. I'm not saying it's not, you know, but really broaden, broaden your horizons. And speaking of broadening your horizons, I think it's very important, which brings me to the next point, is to make sure that you have enough uh, content, uh, let's do this, you have enough content, um, uh, how do I don't want to word this, how do I don't want to word this, you just have enough there's stuff to make content about. That's not the word I wanted to use, but there, you, you're not going to readily run out of ideas immediately, right? You know, gaming is a great channel to do because you can always play new games and you can always build on that. And it's pretty, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's, it's nice because you almost have an unlimited supply of content ideas, right? Now, motorcycles, not always so much. You know, for me, I do uh, motorcycle safety, right? We talked about that. There's only X amount of things I can really honestly talk about without having to recycle my ideas. And I don't want to have to recycle my ideas and do them every, mo every, uh, every season. Uh, it's kind of like residual income, right? Where I make these videos for education people watch them and then you get the next batch of brand new riders next season and they watch them so that does happen um, but w with my thing is I don't want to keep on making those videos all the time um, another reason why I, I kind of stopped following Yami Noob is because that's what he does and it's great because it, it, it does help. I mean, look, I'm not talking bad on Yami Noob. I don't want you to think that I am. At the end of the day, he's one of the most successful uh, moto vlog, motorcycle content creators uh, in our niche. But it just, uh, it just gets old and it doesn't serve a lot of value for people in the long run. Yami Noob is one of those channels where you kind of watch whenever you're first trying to figure things out and then you graduate. There, I said it. It is what it is. Because after two seasons of riding, what the hell do you care about uh, another brand new video on cornering or whatever it is? You don't care. So make sure whatever you're talking about, you have enough 
enough content ideas to, to really keep it going. And if you don't, and you can kind of foresee that, figure out what you can do to extend that or another direction. So again, mine is, I like to do long motorcycle trips. So I kind of have both of those in there. I'm also trying to be a active um, motorcycle instructor. I'm going to try and go through all the coursework in uh, May, the end of May, to become a certified instructor. That will give me more content creation ideas and it also kind of builds my reputation, which kind of falls into this other thing. And this is kind of exclusively like what is going on guys would you believe i actually did this video and it wasn't recording of course you can because that's something that i would do i can't remember what my rant was it doesn't matter um i don't know i can't tell you but what i want to do now is we're back in the lab and i kind of want to show you some settings that you can have on your channel that will better help promote your channel um so the first thing whenever you're at your like your home page or whatever and notice that i have this thing here this is TubeBuddy. i will talk about that but this is an extension that i have and that's why mine might look a little bit different than yours if you don't have that uh up so first you know we're going to go over here and we're going to go to um we're going to go to our content we're in our content and no i don't actually you know what i want to do something else real quick i want to go to settings we're going to do this part first so first let's just go through these general so this is just your general information as far as currency if you're united states do united states apparently uh if you do the wrong one, you can get in some tax stuff that nobody wants to get into. But under channel is a very important one and one that I really want to talk about. Under basic info, you have these keywords. Now, these keywords are what's really going to be able to help get your channel out there. Not necessarily the video, but the channel which has your videos, right? It's the vessel. So here is where you want to really put things that make sense to your channel motorcycle first motorcycle pov motorcycle new rider all those things describe me right i'm a beginner rider there might be some nuances here beginner rider and new rider because some people type in beginner some people type in new let's get them all so that just type in things that pertain to your channel and just keep it uh just just keep it like that this is a very important one and it's one that i didn't know so i didn't really start implementing till later on under advanced we're going to start getting into the settings that i was going to talk about whenever we are uploading a video right so you're going down your your checklist a lot of these you can preset so you don't have to deal with that so we might go here and then we'll see it in the other one as we're going down so under advanced this is about kids no this channel is not made for kids i will never never upload content that's made for kids i don't do that right and then you have um you can don't show a, a potentially inappropriate words that might be a good thing to to have on your channel because if people start spamming you like cussing you out or whatever for whatever reason um it can it can negatively impact your your uh your visibility on on the algorithm uh, so you can keep cutting coming down uh, clips what is what is clips clips allow viewers to show five to sixty seconds of your content to their friends on social media yeah you want to do that right because this is like free advertisement and people might see that it's like oh hey let's go check out city ninja he must kick ass and they go there and like wow this thing sucks never ever sub tell me to, to subscribe to that again uh, under feature eligibility, um, some of these might not be clicked for you. A lot of times, all you have to do is put a put in an email address or put in a phone number. You're basically verifying your uh, identity with YouTube. So upload defaults. Again, this is going to start to make uploading content faster and easier for you if you do it a lot and you're running the same program. So apparently, you can uh, you can fix your title, description, all this. Um, I don't know if you change this, if this will change for everything. I'm going to leave it private. I always leave it private. But if you want to, this might not be a bad place to set in some automatic tags that you will use all the time because we're going to talk about tags and how they actually aren't all that. Under advanced settings, we're going to be talking 
showing more about what we will see when we uh, go to upload uh, your license categories all this stuff um, and we'll, we'll we can uh, we'll go through that when we do the this other part of this but you can change this indefinitely like this one right here a lot of the times it's under standard youtube license if you click creative commons attribution what it does is it if somebody uses your content it will put you in a better um uh monetization position if that makes sense and uh you can change some of these things comments i always leave comments on comment moderation usually it's none y'all are grown people well actually you affect me so maybe i should change that but you know we'll save it doesn't matter i can change it back if we go back to settings as soon as this thing uh works mm -hmm. go back to settings and we go to permissions we're gonna have to bleak that out we go to community this is like if you have like a team working with you which i don't have a team yet working with me so and this is just more of those uh settings that we will see whenever we go through the um the uh the upload thing so this is a survey i actually never did it maybe i'll do it maybe i won't i don't know promotions don't know too much about this. Um, I've been still doing a lot more research on that, but I'm not going to BS you guys and talk about things that I know that I don't know. And this is just all that stuff. So let's go to a video. Let's say, let's go to our videos content. Let's go to a video. Let's click this video. Taking responsibility as a new motorcycle rider. So this is what I was talking about where we're trying to make the, the title, the, the, the title, the thumbnail and the description all kind of articulate the same idea so we got a motorcycle you're in charge beautiful scenic road then you got our title taking responsibility and then under here is a lot of apparently typos mm, i'll change all this later it, it didn't, didn't tell me that there's a problem to begin with y'all change your mind we ain't paying for premium uh da, da, da. and this is actually a nice air place to put your um your um uh, timestamps I don't do that which I should because I had a couple people say hey it would I think it would benefit you and I do think it would benefit me so I'm gonna start doing that but you would essentially just type in this and then you do your next one uh, I don't even remember you're in charge or whatever and then where that ends and you kind of you kind of keep going in for that um, it, it says it'll do it for you this two buddy I don't know I've never tried it because i haven't paid for it yet because we'll talk about that and um but youtube has their own ones and every time i did it it didn't work so i don't really know what the situation is with that uh it seemed like it worked on my first couple of videos but then it didn't so whatever thumbnail there's your thumbnail uh tubebuddy is an extension that i have you have to pay for it which is probably a good thing to pay for i don't because i'm broke but once I start getting money in and I finally get my shit together and get my license, I have my license, I just left it somewhere, then I can uh, show that identification and I can actually get monetized. And this is one of the things I want to buy with uh, my earnings is that and advertising. Um, so playlist is nice for me. So this is uh, one that is how to motorcycle. So I like to keep them all together. So this is in that playlist now. So audience, no, this is not made for kids. Paid promotion, I am not have a paid promotion, so this doesn't apply to me. Um, does any of the following describe your content? Uh, this is apparently sounds like AI, so that's interesting. That's one of the interesting things about YouTube is it's always changing and it's always updating. So again, if you have it in a while, check your YouTube because things change. Um, automatic chapters is the one thing that I was just telling you about. It never really worked for me. Automatic places, it shut that off because that allows your location so shut that off uh automatic concepts should also be shut off from everything that i'm reading because it's experimental it's an ai thing play with it not play with it that's up to you uh tags is an interesting thing because i thought was the most important thing and apparently it's not so what tags do is they're they're kind of like i, I talked in the video they are people 
who might type something in different like ninja 650 ninja space 650 or ninja no space 650 people type in th different things different ways so that's uh you can you can upload that i don't know why ninja 500 and ninja 400 is on there um so that's kind of that's kind of what we're doing with that and this is obviously a uh, uh if you upgrade you can you can see more of this and uh, let me just say like my channel was also new like i've got to a thousand subs in a riding season which is pretty good but i'm still learning too so everything that i'm saying these and these are ideas and concepts like hey i'm gonna watch a video on uh the thumbnails or the description or how to do a you know a proper whatever it is so all these little things that i'm talking about you can go and investigate them further yourself and it's a good thing to do so this is um description and language this should probably be changed to united states i'm going to do a little bit more research on this because i, I really didn't i, I always thought it was kind of like a, a a regular thing so i should probably just change that to united states uh recording location no no license it's under default by standard youtube license we can go ahead and change that to creative commons attribution and what that's going to do is that allows people to use your content and it can benefit you in the long run if their video goes viral and yours doesn't and it probably helps with monetization same thing with shorts if somebody wants to use a clip of mine i don't have any qualms with that that's fine category you can hit your category so um you know let's say you do gaming what's nice about gaming is it even gives you a sub category so you can go ahead and put in whatever game you are playing right so you can really narrow down your niche like we talked about before i don't do gaming i would actually like to do survivor horror games or any kind of those uh games i find on steam because those are actually pretty pretty cool uh, comments uh, it's under basic I, I kind of leave it at basic I mean I don't know you can just have none so or uh, none so all comments I very rarely get negative comments or like cussed out comments so it's all good uh, let's see is there any more no that's that's pretty much it uh, whenever you also go down on this side you can see end screen I don't know. Do I not have an end screen? No, I do. So what I do with mine, I always do a subscribe and I like to do a playlist and I like to do the playlist that is in my, what this, excuse me, video is about. So I said before, a lot of mine is either going to be a how to motorcycle vehicle, how to, how to motorcycle safety videos and stuff like that. And touring where I drove 14 hours to see the Tolar Solar Eclipse, which that video is coming out soon. I That was an interesting trip, to say the least. It's like 600 miles. Anyways, if somebody's watching a video about one of the adventures, you know, Gettysburg or Washington, D.C. or whatever, then at the end of the video, there'd be more playlists, and they can go get that because they might not be interested in my uh safety videos but they're interested in the touring video so you kind of spread out and that's what i was that's what i really wanted to say early on and i i might make a another video real quick for the intro of this but like youtube is such a dynamic environment where it changes all the time or rather it it's one of those situations where what might be true sometimes isn't true all the times so where i talk about staying within your niche you know it is good to branch out too. I think in the beginning, you should really start off like you're playing civilization, right? You start off small and then you expand. If you have too much going on all at once, it's going to throw everything for a loop and you don't have a, a good settlement, right? But if we start doing the motorcycle safety or you start doing your gaming or you start doing your knitting, whatever it is you're doing, and then you have a strong base and a strong foundation, then you can branch off into quilting or other kinds of games or motorcycle touring or whatever it may be you can always save and all that stuff uh discard changes because nothing happened and uh this is more two buddy stuff and that is pretty much it i mean you could go into a whole other thing about analytics but you know there's no 
<laughs> there's just going to be a very long video. How long is this? This is already 14 minutes. That's ridiculous. But hey, it's a lecture, so it is what it is. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump off here because I don't want this video to be entirely too long. But I hope that this has helped you in any sort of way. If it has, please consider to like, share, and subscribe. And if you happen to find this channel and you are not into motorcycling but you were into this trying to figure this out um please let me know in the comment you don't have to like the video you don't have to do anything just let me know that so then i know if it worked or not but i will see you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching i really hope this turned out good and i really hope that this video picked up the audio because i've been having issues with that uh adapter so let's see and hopefully this isn't the third time that i had to do this so take care and I'll see you in the next one.